first picture question by D is asking, what are your thoughts about American Republican political leaders dropping migrants off in liberal area, areas? For example, F Florida's Ron DeSantis recently moved Venezuelans seeking asylum for, from Texas to Martha's Vineyard. Uh, it seems the right is celebrating this as owning the libs, but can this be classified as human trafficking? This is, so, I don't know. I mean, I have so much to say about this, but I'm just going to say it's amazing how they see that that's a uh, own and libs yeah. where the rest, like anybody that has any form of sympathy or humanity <laughs> or any care for their fellow few human beings can see how evil this is like pure evil. The fact that you're just like using immigrants in this way and promising them things that like like these poor immigrants they didn't know what they're being used for right they were being promised that some somebody's going to take care of them and just they took advantage of them as they treated them like they're like just a tool like as if they're not even human like they had zero care and the fact that they cannot see how it looks for to the rest of us shows that these people i don't know they, these republicans some of them i mean i think like most most Republicans have lost any sense of care for their fellow human beings. And the fact that we can see that, and not only they don't see that, they still think that this is our own on live. Like this is such an yeah. own, such a transparent signal to all, like they're showing everybody how, how evil they are. And we could all see that. And they're like, they're like, Haha, we own the live. Like, are you serious? You own yourself. You're just marketing to the rest of us. How, how evil you are. I don't know. I'm going to stop talking. What do you think? No, I, I think you're exactly on the right page, man. I mean, it's just gross is, is where it is, plain and simple. There's nothing about this that is in any way, shape, or form beneficial um, in a political sense, in, a, in an economic sense, in a, in a cost of – like there's no – there's no good justification other than, as, as Dee put it, you know, the owning the libs thing. But again, ultimately what they're saying is that – we got we got one up on you guys, okay? And the way that we did that was by treating human beings like they're cattle. That's what we did. And we just picked them up and just moved them around wherever the hell we felt like. I will say uh, uh, two things. I mean, one, to, to answer the question directly, I don't think so, D. I don't think it, uh, it could be classed as human trafficking. Um, although there are some reports that uh, at least some of the people, if not the majority of them, were not really well informed on where they're going. I don't know exactly how true or not that is, but um, even still, I, I don't think this technically falls under the human trafficking concerns um, just due to the fact that, you know, he, he is technically the governor. He does have some say in these types of things when it comes to uh, migrants and and moving around and so forth, um, but it but it definitely backfired in one sense because um, all of the people of that area uh, seemingly came came out to support these people and and open arms were were very much welcoming them to their community and saying like look you know you're you're here now you're one of us you're 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 part of us and that's awesome that that it happened like that um, I still don't think that makes up for the the disgusting behavior um and yeah i i don't know it's one of those moments where it's like somebody comes out and they they like just straight up tell you to your face like they're a yahtzee you know and you're like you're like oh man i thought you were a little bit on the on that side but i didn't think you were like full blown and they're like oh yeah i got flags and tattoos and everything and it's like okay i guess that's good because i don't want to hang out with you anymore you seem like a bad person um but i still don't like people you know holding those ideologies and doing this stuff so it's like i don't know by the way also another thing is that i i've seen so many republicans and right-leaning people uh, celebrate this mm -hmm. and i just you know, I, I'm coming to the conclusion that the vast majority of Republicans and conservatives are just, you know, um, mentally handicapped or something. No, no offense. To, no, seriously, like, because I don't understand. I don't think they understand what people are advocating for. They're like, 
people are asking for the government to take care of immigrants they're like well if you want that then why didn't you take them into your home mm. and I'm like what yeah like that is is like hey if i want is imagine if i could say like i want i don't know the government to have a little bit more budget for education mm. right and then they're like okay Here's some children. Take them in your home and teach right. them. I'm right, like, right. Why didn't you buy all their art supplies for the next six yeah. months? <laughs> why don't you like? Why don't you turn your house into a school and teach children? I'm like, yeah. what? What? Yeah. Like, if you're advocate, like you're a hypocrite. If you advocate for more budget on education, and are refusing to take some children into your home and teach them yourself, then you're a hypocrite. Like, it's nonsense. how? Like, should I even explain? how nonsensical that is I, like I the think... fact that like the, I, if if somebody is advocating for the government to do more for mm -hmm. immigrants or do to have better policies or have more resources your the, your home is not an ideal place for processing and managing and helping refugees no. it doesn't matter how rich you even are like, it's yeah. irrelevant like what no, no I, so and also some of these rich people if if you're like oh these rich people are hypocrites because they're not using their resources well some of them are saying like tax me mm -hmm. right some yeah. of these liberal rich people are saying like well use my resources yeah. but not not their home like their home is even if you think like it would be like nice of them to do that that's not how you manage any of this that's not how any of this works okay yeah. in fact if, even if they insisted that's not how this works the government you know this is economies of scale the government, the best way to make sure things are done efficiently is to leave it to the institutions designed to do certain things. Yeah. Okay. If you want to use the resources of these rich people, get their taxes and give it to the institutions that are supposed to do this. How dumb do you have to be? Like these people are insane. Yeah. I mean, I a know. lot of times, a lot of times when people are, are, you know, like you brought up the, the example of like education and stuff. And when a lot of people are talking about this, um, especially in the United States, I mean that's where I am. I am, so I have much, much better understanding of that than other governments and stuff. But still, the a lot of the times when people are advocating for better education or you know more funding uh, for migrants or or you know healthcare or these things, oftentimes their argument really boils down to basically our government has the money and is just wasting the money in other spaces. And so it's more often than not, it's saying things like, hey, why are we spending so much money on this that isn't actually helping people when in reality we should put it into, you know, these other causes that that are going to help people. Um, but just real quick, just going back to uh, kind of the thoughts on, on the GOP right now, I think one of the biggest problems with the, um, you know, the system in America right now when it comes to voting is that politicians are not actually being held accountable. And time and time again, they are able to do disgusting things like this. They are able to say horrific things in public, and they are not they are not voted out of office. And and that's an us thing. That's a us as the voter thing. When somebody does something terrible or they say something that's that's gross, we need to let them know, and we need to say to them, "Hey, this is a line, and I'm not going to accept you just dehumanizing people just because they're from another country." Like I'm not going to accept um, that you just allow these people to die in the streets. I'm not going to do that. And if they don't change their opinions, then you don't freaking vote for them, you know. But we haven't had a system for a while now that really holds these type of people accountable. And that's why that's why when Trump was running, he made the statement that he could shoot somebody on like Fifth Avenue or something is because he wasn't being held accountable. And he realized that and he he took advantage of that. So, yeah, I mean, we want to see more of these people out of office. We got to get involved. We got to get active and we got to do shit, you know. Um, yeah. But, yeah, plain and simple, I, I think the GOP is is very much a populist uh, party right now. They are not exactly they are not the principled individuals that they were 40, 50 years ago, just kind of as a whole, you know, not saying I agreed with them back then. I mean, I wasn't even alive for some of it, but, you know, I still it it's a it's a very much a different party today so yeah, we'll see saying 
D is saying the UN defines human trafficking as the recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, or receipt of people through force, fraud, or deception with the aim of exploiting them for profit. So this is is this and this is political profit. So oh. she's saying that this is yeah. That's hard. That's hard. I see where you I see where you cut it like that, D. I really do. Um, I think ultimately. And, and I'm definitely no, you know, I'm I'm definitely no lawyer or anything. But I think ultimately it would fall under this kind of gray area of of what exactly the executives get to do in their states. Um, obviously, the fact that they were actually not in Florida originally, if I remember correctly, and then moved to a completely different state that adds a layer to it. Um, but I do know that governors do have a say in in uh relocation of, of immigrants and so forth i don't know exactly to what extent um that goes though so i i'm look hey if if there is something to prosecute this disgusting act let's prosecute it that's uh, that's where i'm at because yeah, yeah. it's it's just it, it's just gross and it, it just isn't it isn't for any other reason other than just trying to be a jerk like that's what it is which again i i think is where a lot of the gop is like Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think somebody in the live chat has mentioned that they're suing uh, mm -hmm. because tax fair money was used. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.